Greetings, family. Welcome to Help Stop the Genocide in American Ghettos podcast. I'm your host, Emmanuel Barbie. If you are new to this channel or podcast, then please subscribe and share our content with your friends. This will help grow our audience. I provide a written transcript in the group with the same name on Facebook for those of you who don't speak English. I also I also cite all of my sources under show and prove section. You can find all of my work under the about section on my YouTube channel and then scroll down to medium. I use this platform to, to interact with everyone on my friends list and everyone in my social groups by giving black business owners free airtime to promote their products and services. I give people in the faith community an opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and ordinary law abiding citizens an opportunity to share their special talents and skills to my listeners from the podcast community. After the show, I offer my guest speakers an incentive by teaching them how how to create their own podcast and YouTube channel to help them earn extra revenue during COVID-19. I also assist people on my friends list with creating basic websites, finding college scholarships and grants, housing and legal services all for free. Our goal this year is to raise $500,000 for our film projects. Hood Liberator Made in Chicago, The War Against Willie Lynch Begins. First, I would like to thank those of you who have donated to our film project. I encourage people from my friends list and people in my social groups who want to be a part of our film project to please send me your email address to my Facebook inbox. We will hold a private conference through Google Meetings to discuss the best methods of reaching others via social media, people from their friends list, donors, and local businesses. Your Kyle Chicago, the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago, mission is to help eradicate urban violence in Chicago through our programs and services. Our objective is to build a bridge between the diaspora and continental Africans through art, culture, and commerce. The Kyle of Chicago will be in the business of creating docudramas, short films, theater, photography, fine arts, music, poetry, literature, sculpture, dance, and spiritual development for inner city youth and their families. Once this virus is cleaned up, we plan on launching African tours in order for us to move from behind the computer and make real connections with our global black family on the continent starting in South Africa. I created GRCAM, the Grassroots Community Activist Movement, because I got tired of all of the division among black people. I created GRCAM in 1991 on a site called Gopher. I wanted to create an organization that focused specifically on solving black issues in America. I wanted to connect with other like-minded African Americans, Afro-Brazilians, Afro-Caribbeans, Afro-Europeans, African immigrants, and Afro-Latinos throughout the diaspora. This is a podcast where we talk about solving black issues slash African issues using a spiritual perspective as it pertains to the great awakening of our people that has been prophesied. Our objective is to get our film project fully funded and play it by ear during COVID-19. Once this virus is cleaned up, then we will shoot our film and promote our film in selected movie theaters and sell our DVDs. Together, we will put Gurkham on the map and turn my vision for Black America into reality. In 2021 and beyond, the grassroots community activist movement will be promoting a policy of global black unity, ownership, and community support. Our objective is to be in a place where we own everything we consume 
and we support one another. We're reaching out to our group members and listeners and would like to encourage them to support our film project in three ways. Through our virtual store, Gracam merchandise such as COVID masks, coffee mugs, posters, handbags, and t-shirts. All proceeds will go towards our film project. Two, through our nonprofit organization, the Kai of Chicago. PayPal page. Donate donations can be used as a tax write-off because this is a legitimate 501c3. All donations are tax deductible to the fullest extent of the law. Three, you can support us by purchasing my revised book on my Amazon um, author page. Keep in mind, community, community support is where we have to go. And please understand, when you're supporting our YouTube channel or our podcast, you're supporting an independent black network which will eventually employ black people in our films, stage plays, and in our actual business. I need African entrepreneurs, especially in South Africa, to come on the show and promote your businesses and ministries to the diaspora and vice versa. Instructions on participating on the show. First, watch my video podcast. This is called Side A. After I finish my presentation, then I will open up the phone phone lines through Facebook Messenger. This is called Side B. You can interact with me in real time either, either as a voice call by clicking on the phone icon or a video call by clicking on the camera icon. With that being said, tonight's segment is entitled Gurkai of Africa. Waking up continental Africans for the return of the diaspora. I came across an article from USA Today which discussed Chinese Americans given 80% of donations to fund the Proud Boys. Some information came about the funding up for the Proud Boys. This information came about from an insider and was leaked to the public. What's interesting is that we've been hearing about the stop Asian hate. The mainstream media is once once again pushing propaganda portraying black people as perpetrators assaulting Asians which is a bald-faced lie. It's only happening in New York and California. The people who are showing, shown in these videos look like black immigrants who were paid to commit a crime. According to USA Today, quote, Proud Boys saw a wave of contribution from Chinese diaspora before the Capitol attack, unquote. I'm not going to read the entire article. You can read it on my medium page under show and proof. That's where I, um, that's actually my written speech. The article talks about how the Proud Boys had a lot of funding from Chinese Americans. The article mentioned that 80% of the, of the funds raised by the Proud Boys who were injured during the violent Washington DC clash on December 17th came to $86,000 to pay for medical costs of the white supremacist street gang. On December 13th, protesters took over the streets of Washington as they refused to accept the results of the presidential election. We all know racism and white supremacy is the Achilles heel of America. We notice how the Asian community are treating black women in these nail shops and beauty supply stores, yet no black politicians put forth a bill to protect black women. Notice, no feminist groups came out to say 
that it's an attack on women when all of these black women were attacked in Asian businesses. When Breonna Taylor was killed, there was no mention about an attack on women. When Sam Sandra Bland was killed, there was no mention about an attack on women. When Corrine Gaines was killed, there was no mention about an attack on women. I want black feminists to notice this pattern. We are, we are all we got at the end of the day. Just think about it. 80% of the money which helped fund the Proud Boys was given by Chinese Americans. I created Krakai of Africa to connect with continental Africans on the grassroots level. I try to encourage our brothers and sisters to get their leaders in line with the masses. We cannot allow the Chinese to become the new colonizers of Africa. They are using the white supremacist playbook. For example, in West Africa, the Chinese are trying to build a Navy base. They come to Africa with their death trap agendas. If I was an African leader on the continent, believe me, this would not be taking place. I am encouraging my group members to prevent the spread of Chinese buying up everything. This is also a uh, Caribbean issue and a Brazilian issue. We as black people cannot allow these other groups such as Arabs, Americans, Chinese, Europeans, Indians, and Lebanese to continue to take over our ancestral homeland, quote unquote Africa. You all on the continent have to put pressure on your leaders to limit the number of foreigners entering your country. Africa belongs to melanated people. Once we get our film project fully funded and made, then we can establish Krakai of Chicago. Once that takes place, then we can launch our African tours starting in South Africa. Once I arrive in Africa, Krakam will become Global Kemet, which means Land of the Blacks. My message is not for low-hanging fruit or those with a Willie Lynch mentality. My message is for like-minded black people who are smart enough to know the writings on the wall. The Chinese are in Africa to steal your resources and dominate our land if we sit back and do nothing about it. I want to know what will be the response of black Americans about Chinese Americans supporting the Proud Boys. I am just bringing you the news. If you are unable to participate with me on my Facebook Messenger, then leave a public comment on my Facebook page or feel free to send me a, your email address to my Facebook inbox so that we can discuss this one-on-one. -on -one. I am open, opening the show for Q&A. Connect with me in real time through Facebook Messenger. I will wait for about 15 minutes after that. If I have no response, then I will conclude the show for this evening. All right. So the, sh the uh, phone lines are now open. Again, you can connect with me through Facebook Messenger as a voice call or as a video call. Either way it goes, I am here. So let's make it happen.